Hey, hi. Uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this short video, we'll be talking about uh, AES symmetric encryption and decryption using .NET's uh, built-in uh, cryptography classes. We will not be using the bouncy castle class. We will be using the system.security cryptography APIs, which are available. And more specifically, we will be using the AES managed class, which provides us access to AES uh, symmetric encryption and decryption. Uh, the reason it is called a symmetric encryption and decryption is because it just uses the same password or the same key for encryption as well as for decryption, which makes things a lot easier compared to private and public keys. So hopefully this example should be fairly simple to follow. Okay, so let's get started on this one. Okay, uh, in this video, we will be talking about symmetric encryption and decryption. So I'll show you how, uh, what is involved in this uh, process. So I'll start this application. I'll show you the code as well as usual. But let's first see uh, what we are planning to do. What will we be doing exactly? What is symmetric encryption and decryption? So I'm just running this uh, Visual Studio application. I'll minimize Visual Studio. So this is the UI for symmetric encryption and decryption. So all uh, when we uh, when we say symmetric encryption and decryption, it uh, basically is, uh, means encryption and decryption involving uh, just a single key. So a single password or a key is used for encrypting as well as for uh, decrypting data. And in this example, I'm specifically talking about the AES, Advanced Encryption Standard Encryption and Decryption, how to do that. So as you can see in the UI here, so you need for, uh, for encrypting the data, you need to provide the input text and the password, and uh, you should be getting an encrypted text back. So let's try it out here. So I will just say this is a demo and the password needs to be of 16 characters, uh, which is 128 bits. The key needs to be one to, this is what specifically I've chosen for this example. So I'll, for example, I'll just use a very simple key here. So say one, one, 16 times one basically. So here it is. So 16 times one. And if I press the encrypt button, I should get back an encrypted text back here. So this is what comes back. Now, okay, so what if you want to verify your results that uh, whatever I'm doing in the code or we are doing in the code is correct since it knows a lot of algorithms and other things. So let's see. So this is the online tool which I was looking at. So this allows us to verify in bytes, I should say. So uh, what you need to give to this tool is the input bytes, the key to be used, as well as something called as initialization vector, in which our case it is all zeros. And it should give you the output, in this case, the encrypted string. So to make it easier for anybody to just to see the value in bytes, I have added a, a field here called as the debug field here. So if you just double click inside any field, it should show you the corresponding bytes value here. So I will double click on this. So it shows the bytes here. So these are the bytes, so which is what I'm using here. So exactly the same bytes as input. And for the key, if I again go back here, so I can copy the key straight, the bytes straight from here. So copy and paste it here and it should show you the output and which we can again verify by going here, double clicking it here and seeing what we get back. So if you see, this is what the result is in our application and this is the result in this here. So as you can see, the bytes are exactly matching. So uh, this is the easier way to uh, just verify from any from uh, from these online sources, uh, just to verify whether this tool is behaving correctly or not. So as you can see, shows the bytes of this operation and these are ex that is exactly matching. Okay, so in the UI now, let us try to 
use this string, this encrypted string which we have got, and I'll paste it here and again provide the password this we are using and I'll say paste and I'll say decrypt this time. So I'm getting back the original string which we had put in. Let's try with some another uh, another password. So I'll just say, uh, I'll just use a string called password and one, two, three, four, five. So this is a 16 characters password and I'll say encrypt. This is what I get back. So I'll just need to double click on this, get the key value in bytes from here, paste it here. Okay, so this has given us something and then if I go here and you can see it matches with what we are getting back. So exactly the same match as for, so we can be fairly confident that this tool is working uh, perfectly as intended. And again, if you take back the, use the encrypted text, paste it here and uh, use the same password which is the entire purpose of symmetric encryption is to use the same part, password for encryption and decryption. So I'll press decrypt now and I'll get back the original string back. And just for fun, if I change this to say, I am using a new text now. And if I say encrypt, so I get this long string, I'll say copy. paste and if I do decrypt so I'm getting back the original string is what we had put here. So yeah so it should be fairly simple to use and uh, do that. This can be used as a starting point for symmetric encryption and decryption. This is not a production level code but still this gives an idea as to what goes behind the scenes. So let us look at the code and I have pro uh, provided a link to this uh, online Tool as well, which is called Crypty, which is a very nice website, I should say. You can just enter the input bytes, the key which is needed for encryption or decryption, and the IV as well, in which our case it is, I've just kept them as zero. And it will show you the output bytes. So let's uh, minimize this and let's look into the code. I'll close this application and I will go here. So this is the code. So all we do is, as I said at the top of the file, I have defined the IV to be 000. You can change it if you want to, but this is just a initial uh, explanation of how symmetric encryption and decryption works. So to keep things simpler. So I have a method called encrypt, which creates the this object AES managed class and uh, which has two parameters which we use. One is the key other one is the IV. So what we do is we create a memory stream. In fact, I think that it's fair to say we create a crypto stream which does all the hard work for us. And for encryption, we create an encryptor. And that is then we just pass in the text in bytes to this encryptor and we just write to it, write to the stream. And we get back the return data which is then shown in the UI. I think it should be fairly simple to follow really as to what is going on. If you want to change the key size, so I'm using, so if you see uh, by default, it is 128 bits, the key length, which is 16 bytes. If you want to change it, you can uh, change it here. There are various parameters inside the ES object, which you can explore. So this is what happens for encryption and for similarly for the only, uh, the only difference for uh, Decryption is instead of creating an encryptor as we have done it in the encrypt here, we create a decryptor. That's all we do. So again, we have a method called as decrypt, which uses the plain text as well as the password. Same, same to encryption, we create those stream objects again, a crypto stream again, and we say create create a decryptor this time, and we just write our input data to it. We just write the data to the stream and just read it back the whatever was decrypted and it is just shown in the ui again here so which is what you see on the screen and the rest are just uh, some 
some helper functions to when you what happens when you double click inside those fields is just as soon as you double click it just converts to bytes and shorts in the ui there so again not very complicated to see but it's it's very useful to provide this debugging information it makes it a lot easier to compare our work with uh, what is uh, so that we can easily verify whether our application is correct or not so it's uh, should be simple enough to follow i hope you like this video and yeah please if you have any comments yeah please do let me know thank you for watching